Hello everybody, it's Star Raptor here, and welcome to my spoiler-free review of Star Wars from a certain point of view. This is the exclusive cover from New York Comic Con. So this book is comprised of 40 short stories celebrating the 40th anniversary of Star Wars A New Hope. So the writers in this are involved in Star Wars, some of them aren't, some of them are writers from the Marvel Comics. Hell, even one of them is a screenwriter of Rogue One. Yeah, Gary Whitta himself actually does a story introducing this book, and... Wow, I did not know actually I needed this book when it was first announced. I was like, oh, this could be a fun read. But actually, when I first started reading this, I, I got absorbed, I'll be honest with you. And I got hooked because it's so fun reading a book that is full of these short stories. I love just having these short snippets of characters in the background that we didn't really know about. And now after reading this novel, I really want to go back and watch A New Hope ASAP so I could just kind of watch the movie from a, a different point of view, exactly. So certain things I enjoyed about this was, first off, the connections to Rogue One. We have that first story that I, you know, was mentioning about Ramus Antilles. This is the captain of the Tanta V4. Goes from them escaping Battle of Scarif to where we see them in the opening crawl, trying to get away from, you know, the Darth Vader's Star Destroyer. It was it was really good, and you also see more Rogue One information sprinkled throughout the novel, such as Grand Moff Tarkin mentioning Orson Krennic and how he was trying to wrestle control from him to get control of the Death Star. So really cool stuff like that. And again, I just love seeing all these random characters like a Dianoga and R five D four, some random mouse droid, Tuscan Raiders. I can go on and on and on. And, and you know, every time you you get to a new chapter, it's just super exciting. They have these nice little icons in the beginning of each chapter kind of remind me a little bit of Harry Potter you know you see those little images and you're kind of knowing what you're getting yourself into reading really cool chapter names as well I really appreciated that at certain parts in the story they actually have certain legends material being made into canon some certain authors that have written legends actually go and make their own characters into canon which is really nice and this book reading it you go through the gamut of emotions honestly like you'll there will be moments where you will cheer there will be moments where you're in despair after reading a very deep, a very heavy emotional chapter. And there will be moments when you're just going to laugh like crazy because there is a lot of comedy spread throughout this. And that's what's so great is because if you don't like a certain chapter, you're going to eventually in a couple pages get to a new one. Because they're usually pretty brief, like maybe the, mo the most one there was maybe 30 pages. I don't know. It's it, They're not long, but it's a nice little snippet of each character. And the way that these are written, obviously you're getting 40 different writers, so you're getting like all these different writing styles. You know, you have your traditional first person, third person. There's the guy that does the Shakespearean uh, Star Wars books, and he's in there, and he has a chapter about Palpatine, which is pretty hilarious. Um, you got stuff that's like droid programming speak. So that was really cool, actually seeing it from the eyes of a droid and you actually have droids literally talking to each other, so it's all over the place, and that's what makes it really fun, is because you could tell these authors had a great time doing this novel, and it's just a fun, fun time. And, I mean, this is hopefully the beginning of a trend, and I hope that maybe we'll get a book like this, like, every 40th anniversary, so maybe Empire Strikes Back, um, or, you know, just do every single movie like this, because it just opens up the movie... This specific film to so much more depth when you're actually looking at this thing and seeing the characters in the background and I just have to recommend this for anybody because I think this is a great way I always get the question or I always hear the question about oh where do I start with these Star Wars books I'm so far behind which one should you recommend me to read and I think this is a great start for new readers because if you like Star Wars everybody has seen a new hope if you claim to like Star Wars so this one easily parallels the events of Star Wars, so you can understand it easily. You don't need to have any prior knowledge. And if you like a certain author, chances are that they actually might have already written something in the canon of Star Wars right now. So that's a good entryway for you to go over there and check out what other you know stuff they've written so far. So it's just a great way for people to start reading Star Wars. Okay, so with that being said, normally I score reviews uh, from a scale of a 1 to a 10. But being that this was such a creative team that was involved with like 40 plus authors, I can't actually score this thing. But what I will say is I strongly recommend this to anybody that is even remotely interested in Star Wars. I, I would highly recommend you guys pick this thing 
up. It's really, really good. And I, I can't wait again to watch A New Hope all over again with brand new fresh eyes on what's going on with all these little minor characters running around. So that is going to do it for my review of Star Wars from a certain point of view. Are you interested in reading it? Have you read it? What was some of your favorite characters that you've read from in this novel? Let's talk about it in that comment section below. Also, if you're new to the channel, I have plenty of other Star Wars content, so make sure you check that out and are subscribed to the channel so you're notified whenever I post a new video and it helps support me. For instance, I do Rebel Reviews every week and I do lots of comic book reviews and talk about pretty much everything Star Wars, so make sure you subscribe and come and chat with me in the comment section. I love talking with you guys, anything Star Wars. So that's going to do it with me, Star Raptor. Thank you guys for watching and may the force be with you always. Thanks for checking out the video. Please hit that thumbs up symbol. It helps me know that I'm making content that you guys enjoy. And if you enjoyed this video, I also include two videos down below you guys should check out. And please consider subscribing to this channel. It helps support me and it notifies you guys of when I get new videos up on the channel. You can also contact me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram at Star Raptor.